very lightly and it's all thanks to you. So as a starting point, I just want to thank all of you for having attended this training and dialogue around debt management and sustainability. I also wish to extend my gratitude for all of you, to, to all of you for giving this dialogue the reflectiveness it deserved from the conversations that we've had. And we hope that it has been immensely useful to you. I also wish to thank Afrodad and its partners for creating this platform. Uh, one of the things that got us thinking and uh, having this conversation was that leading to the 2021 general elections, it was important to make public debt management a key message with regards uh, to Zambia's current debt position. You, the media, obviously have a huge role to play in ensuring that politicians and all citizens understand the severity of debt management as an important issue that affects national development. This is only possible if sufficient dialogue around debt management and sustainability are conducted. Hence, media training such as these on debt contraction and management can potentially equip all of you here, uh, you from different media houses, to raise advocacy that will then warrant the debt management and, and, and sustainability and will then ensure that this becomes an issue for consideration as people prepare to exercise their rights to vote in the short term, but in the long term, begin to demand for mechanisms for redress for unsustainable debt patterns from office bearers that are actually charged with implementing national development projects, as well as charged to enhance the welfare of citizens. Now, by tracking this dialogue, this conversation around uh, capacity building, around debt, is that um, CATS has been implementing a project entitled Advocacy for Prudent uh, Debt Management in Zambia, of which one of the key objectives was actually to build the awareness of citizenry on debt management and sustainability. Now, the goal of this project is basically to contribute to a more efficient dialogue on one hand, and then this is obviously hope that it will aid uh, the reduction of Zambia's debt stock if we have an honest conversation around it and we have uh, the mechanism for redress actually implemented. So in so doing, it is hoped that this training would necessitate uh, the actual pathways to your input into Zambia's debt management, as well as being able to mobilize support towards current debt restructuring discussions with the intention that more sustainable solutions to Zambia's debt situation will be achieved. Now, key to all this conversation is that the three horsemen of debt sustainability border on one, efficient use of public funds, tracking mechanisms that are reflective of transparency measures for accountability purposes, that is the second one, and two, institutional integrity, that actually denotes the ability of an institution to effectively manage public resources. Now, core to these three pillars, that is efficient use of public uh, resources, uh, transparency, is uh, institutional integrity. Okay, institutional integrity abounds how public resources are managed. And uh, once uh, they are communicated to the masses how these resources are managed, it then reflects the transparency, the importance of transparency in the management of public resources. So institutional integrity is actually key to the idea of efficient use as well as transparency. And of course, you, the media, actually bought on all these three horsemen. You are also responsible in ensuring that if there's efficient use of public money by providing sort of the necessary tracking mechanisms in which you are able to report, through your reporting, you can bring to light some of the unsustainability that has arisen in the process of debt and sustainability. As well as, um, you know, uh, your institutional integrity, the values and your, your intention to ensure that citizens are protected at the end of the day. So to end this, I'll end with two uh, quotations. Uh, this is from a finance expert, Dr. K.Y. Amooko, who says, if you know the beginning well, the end will not disturb you. 
we know the beginning of uh, debt and sustainability, and so we have a, an opportunity to, to put in or at least advocate for the measures of redress. The second important um, quotation that I would like you people to go with is that this is by Amatya Sen, who says, live the life you have reason to value. Now, living the life that you have reason to value actually borders on capabilities. Now, capabilities are only functional when you have basic access to healthcare, education, uh, safe food, drinking water, shelter, etc. Now, without this, in the presence of debt and sustainability, these are the few, these are the key items that are most affected. And so, ultimately, this affects a citizen's ability to be able to exercise their agency on a daily basis. This reduces their capability, this reduces their welfare, and hence, it has become our fight to ensure that all these different mechanisms for redress are actually implemented. And in the short term, we need to continue having this conversation. So thank you once again for having come here and contributed and had, uh, having this lively dialogue along, around debt management. We hope to see you take on, champion this cause a bit more. Now you understand all the different angles of what needs to be undertaken. And so we are, our doors are open, like I said yesterday, our doors are open. You're welcome to come if you need any clarifications, you need data. We are here to work together. So once again, thank you very much and have a good afternoon.